Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Easter's coming. Passover's starting. So much stuff going on. Um, it is spring, and I was thinking about life today, and I wanted to talk about that because my time out is a community of amazing mothers from all different walks of life. We have all sorts of different joys and struggles. Uh, we share in one common trait, and that would be our experience as just being a mother. And what's so great about our, our community is that it is so welcoming of each other and of new moms new moms who are actually new moms, first time moms, and then also moms that join our community. And it's so wonderful and I'm so grateful because our community, we allow each other to just be. We can be whatever kind of mom it is that we choose to be without any sort of judgment. And we can offer each other advice, constructive criticism, and there's no defensiveness, there's no cattiness. We are all just in this together and we realize that and we are respectful of each other's uh, opinions, uh, even our perceptions, and just the way we choose to do things. And I'm so grateful for that because it is hard to get through this journey and not feel like sometimes you're going crazy or even have moments where you're like, why did I even do this? We all have them. That is the truth. That's the truth. And it doesn't make anyone, mom or dad, a bad person for ever having those moments. And what's so great about our community is that we are allowed to have those moments and we are allowed to vent to each other without judgment. So many other places, so many other people that you can go and vent to about this crazy, crazy journey of being a parent. People can sometimes tend to be very judgy and even people will look at you and say, stop whining, be grateful for what you have. And I am so grateful and I know so many women that are so grateful for what they have, but sometimes you just need to get it out. You need to have a voice and you want to be heard without any judgment. So I urge you in the next few days with the holiday coming up to focus on being grateful for your life and for what you have. And not try not try not to stress out with all of the crazy things that come along with the holidays. There can be family stress. Um, there is, it's so busy and hectic. There's so many things to do, so many things to cook. So many people that you have to focus on that you feel like you have to make happy during the holidays and you don't pay attention to yourself. So try to be grateful for the moment, to be grateful in the moment to be mindful of your own feelings. If you feel overwhelmed or stressed out, don't be afraid to just walk away and take a little break. Be good to yourself. And in being good to yourself, that will resonate to everyone around you. Be grateful this weekend. Easter is all about life and rebirth and starting over. This holiday, these holidays, are about that and I want you to try to breathe and be the best version of you anytime that I am having a rough time or I'm feeling stressed or I have anxiety I can feel sometimes ungrateful and then I bring myself back and I think about all of those out there that maybe have it so much worse than I do and I take a break and I breathe and I look around and I say, oh, 
I'm so grateful for what I have. I'm so grateful for my children. I'm so grateful for the fact that I have a job. I'm so grateful for the place that I'm in right now. Even if your place is not so great right now, it doesn't feel so great, hang in there because it'll get better. Just focus on the good things that you have right now in this holiday season coming up and help that, let that help get you through. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon.